Hey guys, what's up? It's one Zuniga and this is the Zunigas and today we're gonna do another cool video This is basically what's in my tech bag. This is the 2019 summer edition. So Let's stop talking. Let's get into it and show you what I have in my tech bag I've upgraded a lot of things. So let's go So the first thing that I want to show you what I have in my tech bag is of course my tech bag And it's the same tech bag and it's the same backpack that I've used for a while is my LV backpack So I'm not gonna even go into details with that, but you've seen it before you've seen it in my videos The next thing in my tech bag is a notebook You know you guys know how much I love having a notebook in my bag just because that's where I jot down my ideas if it's either a video idea or a business idea or any type of business things that I have to do to do lists and stuff like that is in this notebook and I actually upgraded my notebook uh, the first one that I used to have was a Evernote notebook which was like a smart book techie notebook which I loved it was perfect and I still use it I still have a few pages but I upgraded to this one is a Mont Blanc notebook right here and I got this one actually as a uh, bachelor uh, or a groomsman uh, present from my brother so that was pretty cool I love this notebook and I also got this pen this pen was designed by Mark Newson um, this guy has worked with Apple Nike LV Mont Blanc of course it's kind of like a classic look with a modern take to it and I love it, it has a magnetic cap on it so it's pretty cool and you can find it in rollerball ballpoint fountain pens i do love having fountain pens and i love pens as you guys know and i do like fountain pens but when i carry them in my backpack for a long periods of time i don't like a fountain pen for that reason I ha i'll have a fountain pen on my desk or at home that i might use but if i carry it around it's either a rollerball or a ballpoint pen um, this one like i said is is a beautiful pen i love the design of it it's very sleek it's very modern and at the same time very classic so and it writes beautiful and it goes great with this notebook and like I said it was a gift from my brother for being as a best man so that was pretty cool the name of this pen is the uh, Mont Blanc M so just in case you guys are interested the next thing in my tech bag and something that I recently upgraded is the 2018 MacBook Pro um, the reason that I upgraded the other ones are getting a little slow and I like the fact of the new one having 32 gigabytes of RAM it helps a lot with videos the other one only had 16 gigabytes so the fact that it's double it does help a lot with the speed of editing videos and 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 processing mostly all the videos after rendering them after I edit them so that helps a lot this one has a 2.9 Intel Core i9 it has a Radeon Pro Vega 20 and 512 gigabytes of storage the reason that I go with the one terabyte is because I always like having hard drives when I edit videos and all that stuff even my Dropbox I have it on a hard drive so there's no reason for me to get more space for it that takes me to the other stuff on my backpack is hard drives um, I have a sand disk. This is the um, extreme portable SSD. This is a one terabyte The reason that I like it, like it is first is it's an SSD. It's small and I like the rubber of it on the outside is uh, Like an extra protection to your SSD very fast It's not as fast as other ones out there But for the price the capacity and you know the size is a very good price I think you get them for around like 140 for one terabyte um, You can get faster like I said, but they're gonna be like 300 bucks and I think for the the price and what I need it for is perfect. I love it because it's a USB-C. As you guys know, MacBooks don't have any other thing other than a USB-C and a headphone jack. Um, another hard drive that I have is this one and I've talked about it before. There's the Porsche design. Um, this one's five terabytes of storage. So I've used this one for a lot of videos. It's fast enough for it. Um, I wish, it, you know, five terabytes of FSSD was available at a very reasonable price, but it's not right now. So I'll deal with this and it's worked, haven't had any issues and I love it. Next thing in my uh, tech bag is always a pair of Jade Black blue lights. So as you guys know, we're coming out with the blue lights for Jade Black. The reason that blue lights is such a big thing is because we're in the age of technology. We're always either on our computers, phones, tablets, whatever it is, we're always in front of a screen. And that blue light that those screen emit is not good for you. It gets your eyes tired, um, dry, you start getting, you know, blurry vision and all that. And on top of that, it affects your sleep. So we're coming out with glasses. We know that it's something that people need we need it so we've been using them a lot to test them out and see how effective they are and let me tell you we love them and what i like about them is that you can wear them all the time and you're still going to look good and it doesn't look like you're just wearing frames for the heck of wearing them they're actually 
useful. Um, so yeah, so these are the blue light lenses that we have right now and we're gonna come with different styles. You can expect these to come out in August. I love them, I love them. My eyes feel better, I don't get um, as many headaches, I don't get as tired anymore. And it also doesn't affect my sleep. As you guys know, it could affect your sleep. I do have it on my phone, but you know, the laptop is different, the tablets are different. So it does affect my sleep after a while and with these, has helped a lot. I actually fall asleep faster. I get more restful nights and all that. So J Black blue light lenses are always in my backpack and I also carry a pair of sunglasses just in case I forget them. I, I always know I have a pair of sunglasses in my backpack as well. So the other thing that I have in my backpack and uh, I don't know if I talked about it before, uh, MacBooks don't come with anything else but USB-C and a headphone jack. So you need an adapter to or a little doggle to be able to have a card reader, um, USB-A um, or whatever else you want to do. Uh, so I had one that worked very well but it was only two USB A's and two card readers. So I want to let something a little bit more and I found this one. This one's coming from a company called Pow Laken. Um, so it's pretty cool because it's basically an 11 in one. So it has a VGA, HDMI on this side, has card readers on this side. It has a USB A 2.0, two USB A 3.0s on this side. I'm sorry, this wasn't HDMI, this is Ethernet, and then on this side it has the HDMI, it has USB-C, and you can use this one to charge your laptop, just in case the other USB-Cs are taken, you can use this one and still charge it, um, HDMI, USB-A uh, 2.0, and a headphone jack or a mic 2-in-1 basically there if you wanted to use it. So this one is pretty cool, it is bigger than a lot of them, but it has a lot of features. I really do use a lot the HDMI when I want to project something to the TV. Um, I do use the Ethernet a lot. Sometimes Wi-Fi is unstable, so sometimes having an Ethernet cable and just connecting it directly to the internet is so much faster, especially when I want to upload videos and stuff like that. And so even a hotel, sometimes the Wi-Fi is slow, but they still, some hotels still have that Ethernet, so you can actually use this and, and it works perfectly. That's a pretty cool, and it's one that I use a lot, just like my laptop and hard drives. Finally, the final item that I have is the iPad. Pro. I've always been a big fan of the iPad. It doesn't replace my laptop, but it does supplement it and it helps me. Sometimes I just need to answer an email or draft some notes, do something real quick where it's too much for my phone, but there's no reason to take out my laptop and go through a whole process. I use my iPad and I use my iPad a lot, especially when I'm on trips on the airplane, when I do accounting and stuff like that. And the iPad is very good for that. And it has, you know, kind of like a split screen on it so you can use it. It was never a replacement for a laptop, but I think with the iPad Pro, we're getting close to that. There's a lot of videos out there that you see people actually editing full videos on the iPad Pro. Now the iPad Pro comes with a USB-C so you can connect it, uh, your camera directly to your um, iPad Pro and I've seen people even connecting hard drives to your iPad Pro. It, it's starting to be able to replace um, MacBooks and I think it's going to get there soon and I love the fact that it comes with a where well, it doesn't come with a pen you buy the pen but you can grab the pen and just connect it so yeah you just stick it and it starts charging the pen and um, and you can just take it off and start using it drawings um, highlighting underlining redlining documents and stuff like that and I love the design of the iPad Pro I, I liked it before it was cool and all that but I love the the uh, squared and and squareness and and look of it, it it's to me it's way more attractive than the old iPads, honestly. And I love the big screen on it. There's no buttons. It's You still have a small bezel, but it's it looks so much better than the other iPads, in my opinion. So yeah, this is the iPad that I carry right now, and I, and I love it. It's one of the things that I love carrying around and I'm um, using. So yeah, that's basically everything that I carry in my backpack, and this is my upgraded tech backpack, and what I've been, will be carrying for a while. Um, let me know what you think, guys. Uh, leave a comment down below. Remember to comment. Comment, like, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.